Hello again, everybody. Second Tag is here with the tagline for Wednesday, November the 8th, 2011. Now we have to kick things off with sad deaths. First in the world of sports, smoking Joe Frazier died at the age of 67 late last night due to colon cancer. He was reported in the hospital for a couple weeks and lost his battle with colon cancer just a day ago. According to a statement where the family they have asked to grieve privately and said they will announce their celebration of his life like a memorial ceremony. Many boxers around the world condoned the death of Mr. Frazier. Mike Tyson report, uh, tweeted, As a young fighter, it has always been an honor to be compared to Frazier. While the Boxing Hall of Fame flag flew at half mast, because Frazier was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1990. Many fights Frazier had, including his famous fights with Muhammad Ali. But it wasn't the only death. Couple out, just a few minutes. As before I made this attack line, another shocking death came in the world of music. As rapper Heavy D, known for hit singles like Nothing But Love and Now That We Found Love, died at the age of 44 earlier this morning in Los Angeles. He also not only did his own songs, but also collabs with Janet and Michael Jackson. Janet on a remix of All Right and Michael Jackson on Jam. According to TMZ, the Mount Vernon New York MC was transported to an LA hospital after a 911 call was placed from the musician's Beverly Hills home. The call was made around 11:25 Pacific time, which would mean around two o'clock or three o'clock Eastern Standard Time, to report an unconscious male. But when the ambulance arrived, Heavy was conscious and speaking. He was taken to the hospital and pronounced dead a few hours later. Cause of death has been unknown. His last tweet was a tweet about Joe Frazier's death, so it's kind of sad to think that he tweeted about Joe Frazier's death, but would die himself just a few hours later. So condolences go out to both the families of Heavy D and the family of Joe Frazier and friends of both people. Rest in peace, rest in peace to both of them. If both their deaths come after the sentencing of Michael Jackson's doctor, Conrad Murray. Alright, on to some music news, kicking off with award show news. As we all know, the Amer the Country Music Awards are tomorrow night, but they ain't the only major award show coming up. We got news concerning the Grammys and the People's Choice. Kicking off with the People's Choice Awards. Today, the People's Choice Awards announced the nominations for most of their categories, which will be held on January 14th in Los Angeles, leading the pack of nominations, the final movie of Harry Potter, leading the bandwagon, including Best Movie, Best uh, Actor for Mr. Daniel Radcliffe, and Twilight got a little bit of nominations, but not that much like in the past. Twilight wasn't nominated for Best Movie. It'll be up, uh, Harry Potter goes up against Bridesmaids to Help, Pirates 4, and Transformers 3. But TV comedy, once again, will be Glee, Battling Modern Family, and other, other nominations in the TV comedy. I don't know what this time. Oh, Big Bang Theory, How About Your Mother, and Two and a Half Men. But my favorite categories are the music categories. Male artists will be Blake, Shelton, Bruno Mars, Eminem, Weekend, Justin Bieber. Bieber will win, despite the baby news. Female, Adele, Beyonce, Katie Gaga, and Taylor face off. Well, pop artists, as die me. Lovato, Beyonce, Katie, Gaga, and Rihanna. Hip hop artists will be B.O.B., Eminem, Jay Z, Nicki Minaj, and Pitbull. 
favorite band, Coldplay, Food Fighters, Lincoln, Maroon 5, and OHCP Red Hot's going up. His country artists will be Blake, Keith, Lady A, Wasco, and Taylor. Uh, you can go to peoplechoice.com for all the nominations and votes. It'll be on January 11th at 8, only on CBS. Now, speaking of CBS award shows, the Grammys are in February. But on November 30th, they will announce the nominations. Performers will be Lady Gaga, Jason Aldean, and more have been announced during a uh, press release, which was released yesterday. Other performers will be uh, have been added, including Sugarland. Forgot who else has been added to the list. Uh, Ludacris, Lupe Fiasco are all been added. Now, there is a woman band. Grammy is hinting that a band will be at the Grammy nominations concert to announce their performance at the Grammys itself in February. Rumors are that it's Van Halen. A lot of rumors concerning them in the last couple months. They've been rumorly in the studio, working on the first new album with David Lee Roth since 1984. They've been rumorly signing a new contract with Columbia. The woman to tour this year, but with any other Van Halen woman tour, it was that a woman. They were set to headline an Australian festival, but that got canceled. So hopefully, this announcement will happen during the Grammys nominations concert of Van Halen performing at the Grammys, and hopefully a tour in 2012. So there you go. Speaking of Grammy-winning Rock and Roll Hall of Famers recording albums. Madonna is, of course, in the studio working on her new album. Now, today, snippets of an apparent new Madonna song called Give Me All Your Love was released today on the internet. Now, I heard the snippets of the song, and it's kind of catchy, poppy little bit. You know, it is a decent, decent song. It's kind of a fun little dancey song by her. Can't wait to hear the whole thing. Now, it's rumored to be the new single. For yet to be out a new album, but Madonna's publicists have not addressed anything. A lot of Madonna news recently, launching a brand new fragrance and clothing line named Tooth or Dare after a 1991 documentary, and of course, rumors of Madonna doing the Super Bowl. Not been rampant lately, but hopefully by Thanksgiving, they usually announce by Thanksgiving who is doing the halftime show, so hopefully we'll find out in a couple weeks. When Madonna will be on the road. Can I wait to hear more from the album? But the first listen, decent song to begin. And now, on the TV news. Starting with Dancing with the Stars. Was our last night the quarterfinals. Finally, a 30. J.O. Martinez got the first 30 of the season. And I was watching it, I say, that deserves a 30. But every time every time I watch the show, and I just every time I see a dance that deserves a 30, I say it and I always jinx it every time. So I didn't say I say at least a 29, but it was a 30 for Mr. J Hall. Two 30s. The only one in the instant dance to get a 30. Everybody else struggled besides, I think Hope was the second best in the instant jive. But it was J.R. who wore the night, getting a perfect 60 out of 60 for his two scores. Now, I think we all know who should go bye-bye. Bye, Nancy. It's been fun, but you gotta go. At last, you have to go bye-bye. Bye-bye, Nancy. All right, hope America gets it right tonight. And hopefully the right four make it to the semis. Don't make me dread on... Seasons pass, like the eliminations of Brandy before the semis and Lil' Kim, and of course this season, shocking elimination. So hopefully, America gets it right and Nancy goes bye bye. All right, on the other TV news of the night, Glee is on tonight in its second episode from its back from its hiatus. It's all about taking it to the next level in relationships of Blaine and Cut, and also. Rachel and Ben. Hopefully we'll see more Sue and Bert in their little conflict concerning the election. 
And also, seeing the whole Trumpetons storyline develop with Mercedes, Brittany, and Santana being in that group. So we'll see what goes down tonight on tonight's Glee, which is called The First Time. Like I said, a lot of relationship stuff. And apparently the Warblers return tonight, so we'll see what happens there. And also, I heard on iTunes the first bit of songs from Glee. They're probably doing a, they're all doing some songs, more songs from West Side Story tonight. So that will go down tonight on Glee at 8, 7 Central, only on Fox. That is it. My attack line. See y'all later. See you probably tomorrow. That man, you've been attacked by the news from Zach. Thank you very much. See you later. Yeah.